Hey you guys, in today's video we're going to be heading out to the Marina del Rey Harbor to go ahead and go slam some bass, hopefully some spotted bay bass, sand bass, and some calico bass. Let's go ahead and see how many giants we can pull up. That is a massive fish. Look at the size of this fish. Oh, I'm on. Oh yeah. There we go. That's a big spotty. Yes! No way. First cast. I literally thought I caught a bird for a second. That was a giant. Catch you later. No way. The night bite is gotta be the right bite. Actually, I'm headed out to the Marina del Rey Harbor with my kayak once again, and this time I wanted to do like a really fun little night trip because, dude, these fish go crazy when that night bite hits. The night bite is usually a really good bite because at night it's harder for them to see stuff to detect if it's a fake lure or not. It's usually really easy to fool these bass into committing to eat like a soft plastic swim bait or to be honest, any other lure. They lose their lateral line more than they use their sight at night. So great way to get bit if you guys want to get out there at night. Totally sick way to do it. Obviously be careful. It can be kind of sketchy, but go for it, dude. You guys will definitely pick up some big fish and I'm actually making this intro a bit late. I first headed out to the harbor, did a little bit of fishing around the docks, absolute crushed some spotties. Absolutely insanely fun night. Then I decided to hit all the way out to the jetty wall and dude, as usual, the bite is wild that night. Those calicos, they they were literally smashing me on every cast, throwing swim baits, breaking off swim baits. It was a crazy rough night with the breaking off, but I could not stop getting bit. So you guys might want to stay tuned for the ending part when I hit to that jetty wall. Absolute crazy trip. Was a heck of a grind trying to get there and back on my super heavy kayak, but did my best. Hope you guys will enjoy this video. I try to put a lot of work into these videos, so I hope you guys enjoy it a lot. And without further ado, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Hope I explained as well as I could. We'll see you guys right out there in the harbor catching some fish. There we go, we're on. Oh yeah. First fish of the day. Feels like a nice one. Maybe it's just that I'm using the spinning rod. Oh no, it's definitely a nice fish. First one of the night, took that little drop shot that I put on there. I was never a big fan of drop shots in the salt water, but 
I knew they worked, but finally put it to the test. And um, I'm glad to say it definitely works. That was, I just tied that, I just tied the drop shot on. That's like the second cast with it. So it's pretty nice. There we go, cut it all off. It's a nice little fish, I gotta say. That's like at least, uh, let me see right now. That's at least a 13 incher right there. Nice fish, 13 incher, not bad at all. That's a solid, solid fish. All right, appreciate you biting. That was a super, super fun bite. The bite's been super slow, so fun to catch you. See you later. There we go. That was a crazy bite. I felt that bite like, that was one of the hardest bites I felt in a while. Oh yeah, it's fighting back. Oh, let me get around. Woo. Damn. That is a massive fish. Holy cow, that's massive. Holy cow. That is a, oh my gosh. That's a big fish. Oh my gosh. Crazy A-rig bite. Hit that zoom swimming fluke. Dang. These fish are absolute massive. Look at the size of this fish. I hope you guys can see it because GoPro makes everything look small. This is an absolute giant fish. This is my hand. That's like two of my hands. You guys got to see this on the measuring tape. Yeah, that's a 15 incher right there. These fish are solid. They're fat too. This is a full on butterball. Split tail, split fin. This guy's been beat up, but regardless, some nice looking fish. So happy to catch him. I really appreciate you biting. All right, go ahead, live for another day. See you later. Oh, I'm on. Oh yeah. There we go. Just bouncing this double rig. Yes, stay on. Oh, feels good. Has some head shakes on it. Oh, coming in slow. That's a big spot. He didn't realize until I hit the surface. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, this one hit the secondary lure. Hit the smaller one with the smaller leader. Look at that. Red crab, 3 8 ounce, quarter ounce anchovy, slam that anchovy, double rig, hookup baits, getting it done once again. Hookup baits are starting to become one of my favorite lures out here in the bays. They just seem to just get it done. All right, let me pop this hook out. Oh, wow, came out super easy. Damn, the night bite is gotta be the right bite. This is the same spot. This is like within the past maybe 15, 30 minutes. I've been catching these three. See you later, bud. Definitely slaying him tonight. No way, no way I catch one first cast. No way, first cast. I literally thought I caught a bird for a second. First cast on that, oh my gosh, on that little swim bait. I knew these calicos were crazy. 
good choice to come out of here right now. Happy I just did. Look how beautiful that fish is right there. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Literally choked it. Look at that swim bait. Oh my gosh. Literally the first few cranks. And this guy already slammed it. Oh my gosh. These calicos are absolute nuts. I'm trying to get this tail out. Oh my gosh. It's all the way down in there. There we go. Little big hammer swim bait. Let me go and measure this guy. Um, 12 and a half. Not bad at all. Dude, solid fish. 12 and a half. Dude, these fights are crazy. Appreciate you biting my boy. See you later. There he goes. Oh yeah. This one feels like a nice one. Taking me into the rocks. No, it broke me off. No. That was a giant, absolute giant. It was literally pulling me into the rocks. I was, I felt him. Literally clean. Broke me off clean, look at that. Absolute clean break. Damn, that was for sure a massive one. There we go. I'm on. Finally. Yeah, there we go. Oh, just popped out on that little Kitex swim bait. Nice. Look at that nice size fish right there. Kitek always gets it done when I'm using swim baits. Nice, nice fish. We gotta measure him. Oh yeah, at least a 13 and a half. Close to legal, super nice size fish. Right bud, I appreciate you biting. Become legal and come back. That's a fish. That's a fish. Yeah, let's go. Another little calico. On the Kitek swim bait, check that out. They're biting here at the wall. Broke off twice, one of them was off camera. It was crazy, I retied, and then I broke off, and then I retied and it broke off again. So I moved to 20 pound. Dude, there's some big fish down here. They're breaking the, the 15 pound line. These things gotta be giant. So I'm gonna continue fishing, hopefully upgrade from these smaller 10 to 13 inch fish. Hopefully I can finally catch that legal one. Let me unhook this guy. Let me go ahead and measure him. Oh, 12 incher, not bad at all. I'm totally fine with 12 inchers. All right, bud. Appreciate you playing. See you later. No way. Look what I just brought up. Half of swim bait. This is like a six inch swim bait. This is thick. Someone just bit it right in half. Dude, these fish are crazy. There we go. Yeah. Another little calico. This time on the weedless swim bait, artificial fishing swing head. And that, some type of swim bait, almost looks like a Kitek. 
Artificial fishing heads, killing it. Nice. Really appreciate you biting. Catch you later. There we go, I'm on. Once again. Oh, it popped off. All right, you guys, as you guys saw, had a crazy epic time out there at the jetty. I am definitely gonna be bumping up my line size, my fluorocarbon. I'm probably gonna be throwing 30 to 50 pound braid. Hopefully gonna be upgrading to at least 25 pound fluorocarbon, especially during these night trips. I bet they can't see the line because of the dark. And not just that, dude, these fish are aggressive and I'm assuming they don't really get line shy that much. So I'm hoping to bump up 25, 30 pound next time because me just thinking on what giant fish I've lost in today's video just really gets me mad. So hopefully next time I head out there, guys stay tuned, I'm gonna be going out there pretty soon. I wanna go ahead and see if I can land one of those giants because my PB calico and sand bass is under legal. So I've caught two super tiny fish. So I'm hoping to catch that legal or some giant out of one of these jetties one of these days. I'm gonna be getting some thick line and I'm gonna go ahead and bring up some of these big fish and actually land them. So hopefully you guys learned something out of today's video. Go ahead and chuck some swim baits out at these break walls at night. Super lit times at any one of these jetties actually. Just chuck it at the jetties. You can walk down the rocks from the shore and absolute slay these bass. Hopefully this video helped you guys out or you guys just enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you guys staying till the end. Without further ado, I'll see you guys right on this video right over here. Absolute epic times out on these adventures.